museum district was designed to be this way. Um, this was all laid out right after the First World War. And uh, as you know, Houston is, is laid out on two grids. Um, most of the town on a north-south, east-west axis, axis, but <coughs> Main Street and downtown are on a diagonal from northeast to southwest. And these two grids come together right here, and that makes the angle of the museum district. And at that point, there was always to be a garden, only later did, did the Meekums provide this beautiful fountain next to what was then called the Warwick Hotel. But it was always a round point, and this was meant to be the cultural center of the city. They laid out these broad avenues, South Main Street, Montrose, Caroline, North South Boulevard. These were meant to be the grand amenities of the new city, south of downtown. Right. And Rice it's University and Rice University, Shady Herman Side. Park, Shady Side, all conceived at the same time, right around the First World War. And I just am constantly amazed by the beauty of these magnificent live oaks. Yeah, they're and they're soon to be 100 years old. Most of them were planted um, by 1919, some of them as early as 1914. So we're approaching the fountain. Well, first we're gonna admire Sam Houston here, uh, who's right on the axis of Montrose rather than South Main. So that indicates the importance that the city planners had for, for Montrose as one of the premier boulevards well, that, of the city. That, 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 the, the two grids are reflected right here. Precisely, this, this very point is where the, the downtown grid and the rest of the city of Houston grid come together, where South Main and Montrose meet, right here at the museum, the Hotel Zaza, with our Caroline Law, Weiss Law building, our Audrey Jones Beck building there. Uh, so it, it was designed to be a cultural center, and over the last hundred years, it has become right. one of the great cultural destinations of the world. Well, here we are, as you say, this is our round point, just like at the Avenue de Champs-Élysées, which we both know well in Paris, where you've got a beautiful monument, the Arch of Triumph. Here we have Sam Houston, <coughs> a big boulevard. There it's the Champs-Élysées. Here it's South Main Street. Uh, magnificent fountains, just like they have at the Rond Point in Paris. But unlike Paris, the one thing we don't hear, have right here, apart from the croissants and the accordion music, um, are stop signs and traffic signals that allow us to cross the street safely. So it's not clear right here, for example, who has the right of way, that little mini, or us, as we're about to step into the crosswalk. We can cross here. Well, the fountain is working. It's cooler over here. It's about five degrees cooler next to the fountain than it is over there across the street. And we have that great view of Sam Houston and of the obelisk and the jet of water, the jet d'eau, which is over in the, in the lake in Herman Park. And, um, and we can see the marvelous avenues, the medical center, South Main, the beautiful oaks, up Main, up Montrose. It's really a spectacular urban situation, as beautiful as the Champs-Élysées in Paris. It is, it is. But it's difficult to experience on foot. on foot, and it was meant to be seen that way. And I think that by uh, providing better cross crosswalks, having timed traffic lights, mm -hmm. enabling pedestrians to get across the street, Maybe one of those pedestrian yield signs that would be a little more aesthetic, but I... That might, would be nice. <laughs> might not fit in. And, and with that, then, we could really enjoy this extraordinary situation.